Hello everybody and welcome to Dustin Time. For those of you who are new, I'm Dustin. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to do something um, a little different that we haven't done in a while. Kind of what started me on YouTube. Um, we are going to do a building tutorial. So this is Building with Dustin. Um, this is Roofing 101. So hopefully I can help you guys out. Um, I get asked a lot how I do my roof, so I want to apologize for the hat. My hair wouldn't cooperate. I usually don't care, but it was just kind of all over the place. But, so, we're going to do some roofing today, and hopefully it'll give you guys a little insight on how I do my roofs. And hopefully it will answer some of your questions and help you fix some issues that you're having in your own roofs. So, without further ado... Let's get to simming, shan't we? Okay, so the first thing that we're going to cover is, and just so you know, there are obviously, hopefully most of you know, three different wall heights in the Sims. Small, short, short, short wall height, medium wall height, and tall wall height, and I, Will be referred to them as such from now on and it is an important part of this building tutorial now for a roof to line up and to stay hidden and to complete this like craftsman look or this um attic type of look you have to use certain um number of squares away from the wall to get the roof to blend in with the room that you're making okay so like so for this purpose this is what I needed you guys to learn now all right you ready so for short wall height your roof needs to be three squares back so one two three for it to line up I'll put this up here just so you guys know what I'm talking about See how that lines up? All right. Now, two, wall type number two, medium wall height. Now see how this doesn't line up? This is only three squares. For medium wall height, you have to be at least four squares. Or not at least, you have to be four squares or it won't line up. There's no at least. See how that lines up? And then you have like a functioning room here inside your roof. Okay, so then we're going to go to our third wall height, which is going to be our tall wall height. Again, we're at four, that line up. Drag this out to five, it lines up. So, remember guys, short wall height, three squares. Medium wall height, four squares. Tall wall height, five squares. And I am referring to this by squares. One, two, three for short, four for medium, and five for tall. They'll line up every time. This is something very important to remember for this tutorial. Okay, so now that we've learned the three different, you know, wall heights and the corresponding roof widths, I'm gonna show you guys real quickly. Okay, for this little tutorial here, we're just gonna quickly build like a little house. Okay, so it helps if we grab our room tool. So then what we're gonna do is go like this. And we're just gonna kinda of slap something together because we're gonna have to adjust it. So, that's fine. So, if we're building like our little craftsman style house, you wanna raise it up a little bit off the ground. All right, most of these bad boys, they have porches on them. So what we're gonna do is make our porch real quick. Okay, so we have that, we're gonna go up. So we're gonna build. All right, now this sometimes takes a little work to figure out, but this is where, this is where the roof rules I taught you guys earlier come in. See how I left three spots there? It'll make sense in a minute. Okay, so we left three here and three here, and then we left two for the porch. Again, it'll all make sense in a minute. All right, so then we're gonna do 
our dormer for the front of our craftsman. Now I'm gonna tell you what I got you guys blending roofs in. I tend to leave one square in front of them and it just helps you in a minute when you go to blend the roof in. Alright, so then you go like this. Again, leaving one square, leaving you got three squares here to blend your roof in. Alright. But then here comes the fun part, the roofing. Again, remember. Bam. I'm gonna drag these in until you get everything figured out. Then you wanna copy this. Put that there. Copy that. Put that there. Copy this. Put this here. Now if we go up and we add you can add one of these. You can always add one of those. See how it lines up? Just depends on the style of house you're going for. I personally go with these, especially if I'm making a craftsman. I always like to draw these back until I'm ready for them. And drag this over. Drag this over and see how that all lines up. A little bit tall, but you can bring that down. But I'm warning you, it's going to change the way it looks a little bit. Kind of get that barn shape going on, right? Okay. So there's that. All right. Now for this little bit right here, you can drag these across. Um, and they work. Um, but it leaves this line. And I don't know about anybody else, but I hate this line. I hate this line. So this is what I do. One. Oh, whoops. Draw that over. Draw that up. Draw that down. Draw that in. Copy that bad boy. Put that there like that. All right, then we're gonna do our porch roof real quick. Like this. Pull this back. Just make sure that's lined up. Draw that back. And you're gonna drag this over like these. Okay, so so far so good. We don't have any clipping, but clipping's a problem, and I'm going to show you guys how to fix some clipping. Okay, so then you have that. All right, now we're going to do one of these. Now you can do these two ways. You can do it like this. And have a gable dormer. Or my personal favorite, you can do this. And this is called a shed dormer, like the shed in your backyard. Press your shift key, pull out just your front. So you can have either one of those. Let's leave one of each. Screw it, why not? Okay, so, all right, so our little craftsman y, style -y house is coming together. Let's go ahead and adjust those eaves like this. Make sure to hold your shift key. All right, and they're all pulled out. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to pull this one down because we're not adding a porch back here right now. Okay. All right, so. Okay, so we have our little crafts mini style house here. All right, we're gonna wanna add roof trim. Let's add our roof trim real quick. All right, and a little tip for some of you that did not know this out there. It took me a while to figure this out, but I like to add different roof textures to my houses, and sometimes you kinda need a little separation on those. So if you take these roof trims right here and you hold them like right here on the edge, I don't know how well y'all can see that. 
Let's see if we can get a little closer. If you hold it right there, not on the roof, but on the side, you can add trims to the tops of these roofs, and they can be different sizes. So just a handy little tip there, and I'll show you what it does real quick, just so we're not too, you know, thinking I'm out there doing craziness for nothing. It all makes sense, kids. It all makes sense. See? And, oh, and we missed a roof trim. Alright, so anyway. See, then you can bring your pretty little colors all over here. Alright. Alright, like that. Okay, and those trims, those trims, those trims. See this roof here? Right there on the side. Work every time. Okay, so, all right. Now, I said I was going to deal with some clipping, but let's see. Let's see if we can make some clipping happen. Okay, so let's say this house is a little bigger, and there's rooms over here. Or better yet, let's just do this. These are bedrooms. Let's say these are bedrooms. And you know what? Let's throw a light in here too so you guys can see exactly what a biatch is talking about. Drop one there, drop one there, drop one there. Hell, let's drop one in there. Okay, so if you're like me, and as most people probably are, my sins, you know, they like to get onto the second floor of their home and usually um you know they use the staircase and I don't know about you guys but some of the houses I've lived in also have had stairwells that are connected to the downstairs <gasps> look at that we have clipping usually for me it happens when I do this but Look at that. We have clipping. If we delete the clipping, what happens? Huh. It took our roof trim off. Well, we kind of want a roof trim. Okay. Well, this is what we're going to do. Get you guys a little something, something, something. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. Grab this. Pull it over one. Make sure that's pulled in. Oh. We just wanted, we just wanted one, little buddy. All right, so that's pulled in, right? Okay, so we're gonna copy that. Make sure those are pulled in. Pull this over to one, because we have one square that we're gonna fill. You move this here. All right, so see, there's that clipping. We didn't change the roof trim. Over here to this angled roof trim, don't matter. Just pick white. Come over here and click that. And look, no more clipping. Isn't that fancy? Drop that in there. No clipping. Ooh, clip free, ladies. Clip free. So that's just a tip. You guys can do that anywhere. If you've got like, say you've got this roof clipping in, um, you can put different pieces around the edges to keep it from clipping. Um, think of a roof, and I've said this in my past roofing tutorials, I believe it was Skylight 101. Think of roofing as multiple pieces, not just one single roof. Because honestly, when you think of roofing as different types of, or different pieces of roof versus being, you know, just one, it, um, it really helps with your building, I think. But if, yeah, like if you've got that clipping, just remember, add different pieces next to it and use this angled one right here. It doesn't show up. And then when you go inside, you don't have any clipping. And then if you don't want the clipping across there, use the different pieces instead of just going like this. Cause then, yeah, you get, you get, just, you get stuff like that. So, Okay, so another issue that I know a lot of people have when it comes to this 
is, so, okay, so say you have this room here and you want to put a roof on it. So you're going to like, oh, la di da di da I'm going to put a roof on here. And then you just grab this. Oh man, I don't want this. This business. No, you don't want this. So what you do is bring this back to literally right here. Okay. And then you'll grab your shift key, bring that roof up. Now you're going to have a little bit right here. And honestly, guys, that's unavoidable. But then what you do is copy this, sit it down. Make sure both eaves are dragged in. Drag it back like two, maybe. And then like this, shift. <gasps> Look at that. No clippy clip, 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 clip. No clippy clip, 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 clip. So. You know, just another little tip that I thought of while I was sitting here. Another little tippy tip tip. Um, let me think real quick, guys. Is there anything? Is there any other issues that you guys should, that I could help you guys with? Well, here's a thought. You see how this roof is? Like, I kind of don't like the way this looks. Like, that looks really tall. What you can always do with these. Like if you're feeling like it's not looking big enough, drag it back a couple squares and then lift it up and see, it makes a difference. It really makes a difference. It really does guys. So then you have all this, like I'll show you this. The whole point of this tutorial is this. See, now you have all this livable space. You don't have any ceiling or any roof slipping into it. You don't have any exterior trims nothing <clears throat> like you don't have anything flipping into it i mean it's really just i mean it's it's just things i've learned over the years guys and it's just little tips here and there but anyway i know this hasn't been a very long video and that's okay but you know if you guys think of anything that i didn't mention in this that you may that i may not know leave a comment down below maybe i can make another video or you know add a little bit of something onto this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't, ding the bell so you get notifications when I post things and I always post live when I go on Twitch. Thank you guys so much and you have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye now.